Okay, so here is the haul from our estate sale shopping. So I got this basket and I'm thinking about putting this basket like right in here below the sign. Maybe, we'll see. And then I got this basket to be like a harvest basket. And this basket was just too beautiful to pass up. And so I'll, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. And then I just had two of these baskets. I think I wanna plant, I think I wanna plant stuff in those. And then I got this bubble glass. It's just so cute. And I got six of these um, espresso glasses. Kaysen picked him out some mugs. So this one, this one, and then all of these like pottery ones. There's um, two, four, six, eight of them. They're all different colors and they stack. He has a thing for mugs. He also got this duck. And then I got this cute little like petal dish. And then I got this pineapple. You can put like meat and cheese. You can put like salt and pepper, stuff like that on here. Um, I'll probably, I'm, I'm gonna wash. I, we've already wiped everything down, but I'm gonna wash every all the dishes in the dishwasher. Some of the baskets I may spray off with a water hose, things like that. Um, so let's go ahead and keep on with the dishes and then I'll get to the pictures. We saw this cute little turkey for Thanksgiving or like the fall time, so we had to get that. Another like little milk glass dish and this one says, let's see if I can turn on the light and see what this says on the bottom. Okay, this says, I don't know if y'all can see that. It says glass bake made in the USA and it has Y'all can't really see it in the, in the video. Oh, there it is. It's a little bit better. It has a number 14 on it. And then J equals 24, 27, and then 14. So I'm going to look that up and see, like, if there were only a certain amount of these made. And so I need to wash that up. And then I'm like, I have the thing for getting glass bakeware. And so I saw this glass dish and I was like, hey, it's glass. Like you can pretty literally put anything in that, but there was no lid. So this one downside. And then I found this Pyrex brand, um, made in the USA pie pan. And so right now my thing is like collecting Pyrex. So the estate sale had a bunch of glassware. I just didn't want to get sorry about my finger I just didn't want to get like a whole bunch of glass and not know what to do with it but so they have a lot of um nine by sevens or nine by whatever they are anyway baking pans and this one is milk glass and I collect milk glass I've collected milk glass for a few years now and this one is also glass bake made in the USA J2024 and it says it's microwave safe and this has a 17 on it. So I'm going to look up what all that means. And because I have a lot of, a lot of milk glass. I will show you guys some in a second. And then I found these like ramekin style bake dishes, baking dishes. And so there's this one and this one is... Oh, there's nothing on the bottom. I don't know. That is perfect for like mashed potatoes or something at the holidays. I thought that was perfect. And then I got these two. So a smaller one, a smaller round one, and then the bigger round one. And those are just perfect to, to have for like baking and stuff. Okay. So Kaysen got him a picture. And it is just a picture of a deer and it's pretty nice frame so he picked him out a picture and then I picked me out some pictures 
I just love this one. It's absolutely beautiful. Garden pleasures. If I had a shed, like a shed for me, like a she shed, that would go in there. But I think it, it's probably going to go in my office. And then I'll show you guys that in a second. And then I got another one. And so they're very similar. This one is just like a terrace over a city. And I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. And they kind of went together. Then the first thing that I saw was this dress. And so I immediately was like, oh my God, this is the 80s. Absolutely. Like this dress is just beautiful. I mean, the beading on this. And I know it's got to be from the 80s. I mean, it has to be because there's freaking shoulder pads in it. So I'm going to look up this brand and see what I can find. It's made in India, so but what is it, you know? And then the backing is just beautiful too. So I'm going to look some of this stuff up and see like if there's a value for anything. But that is our first estate sale haul. And then I also ordered some things from Amazon. Let me move that out of the way. So we have this shark back mop. I have it charging over there in the corner so I can clean. And um, we got it for our wedding. And that was like two years ago, almost a year and a half. Anyway, I needed to, to get more pads for it. So I got those off of Amazon and then you also have to use this liquid. And so I got the complete clean um, shark back mop. Oh, and this one you can use with the shark AI robot back mop, but we're we don't have that. So anyway, that is our estate sale haul and I can't wait to decorate with it and I will surely show you guys that. Now let me show you guys my, first off, look at all my little salt and pepper shakers and then there's some milk glass, milk glass. I got this at Hobby Lobby this past week. Okay, so, oh, I think I moved some of it. Okay, so up there is all all in that corner is milk glass down in there's milk glass i have those cute there's cute little plates back there they're shaped like strawberries i may get those out tomorrow we're having people over um and so yeah i got that glass pie pan from um goodwill and then i also got a couple of glass uh baking dishes down there from goodwill but i have more milk glass and some other places in my house i have a few things above my fireplace and i don't think i have any on here but anyway i love milk glass and one day i might give you a home tour we'll see so there it is hey guys okay so today there's tongs so today i'm going to be cleaning my house cooking prepping some stuff. We have um, some friends coming over tonight or family coming over tonight, family, friends. Um, and I'm going to be doing that. I actually just made some coleslaw to put in the refrigerator so it can be nice and cold for later. I have cinnamon rolls in the oven because I have not eaten today and it is already 1045. I made me some iced coffee at home it's so good. And I'm listening to um, country music on Spotify thanks to my and I'm going to be just cleaning up and doing all that kind of stuff getting all of the um, state sale hall stuff put away bathrooms cleaned laundry done dishes done all the things so here we go oh and but before you so I have like a whole little collection of mini tonks, eat your carrot, of mini um, salt and pepper shakers. And so I got a bunch of little ones. Well, I just got these at Ingles for the Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day. So aren't they so cute? So I'm going to put those up too. And anyway, there we go. So here I am just putting together a bouquet of flowers. 
um, we have people coming over this night and so that's why I was cleaning the house and getting everything ready and I saw these beautiful flowers at the grocery store so I got some and I trimmed them and put them all together it is two different colored hydrangeas so I had two white stems and two blue stems and then I had these um, dyed colored daisies that were pink and blue and so a trick that I learned is to put ice in the bottom of your vase or wherever you're going to have hydrangeas because it keeps the hydrangeas full um, and they don't wilt as fast. Next, I am getting ready to make some sun tea by the Oliver and Clough Tea Company. And I have used their tea before and I love it. It's really good. And so this is the Southern Style Sun Tea. And I am just reading the directions to make sure I do it properly. So I get out my pitcher and I fill it with water. And I use purified water. And I put one large bag of the Southern Style Sun Tea in this pitcher and as you will see in a second I get this saran wrap after I put the tea bag in the tea and I cover the top so that bugs don't get in it because you actually set it outside and it brews in the heat and I let it brew for three to five hours okay so I'm setting the sun tea side and eventually this area will get sun and so this needs to be in the sun for three to five hours and then I'll put sugar in it when it's hot and then we can put it in the refrigerator but um, while I'm out here doing my talks I will show you guys an update to see if there's anything else happening in the garden we need to get either a planter for this or we need to plant it up front I might do that later, but probably not. Since we have people coming over and I haven't even started cleaning it, but I um, was about to do the dishes and get that started. Ooh, we do have an update. So it looks like we have our squash popping through, a bunch of different varieties. Our corn is popping up back there. Let's see, corn popping up. More squash is popping up, so that's pretty exciting. Over here, it looks like we have a lot of our tomatillos flowers. It looks like they're coming in, starting to come in. More peppers and tomatoes have blooms on them all through here. I also planted, so this is basil all through here, and some other herbs. I think these were... I don't remember what I planted here. There's some mushrooms that are growing. Oh, marigolds. So those are popping up. Ugh, if I don't get these planted, they are going to, oh, there's spider webs everywhere. They're going to die. 
We have sweet potato slips. I've got to get those planted. More peppers. My um, provider beans are looking good. These peppers, they're, they'll get there. I'm, I'm confident. Um, my cauliflower is doing good. This one has like almost tripled in size. This one is struggling a little bit more, but it looks like there's two over here. Anyway, that one's looking good. The rest of the stuff over here is looking good. I planted some carrots in here throughout here. I heard that carrots and cucumbers are good to plant together. Once again, sorry about the dog. All of this, the squash is looking really good. Zoe! It's okay. More peppers and tomatoes. These are flowers. I'm hoping these one look really good. This is arugula. It's popping up. Okay, let's go over here. I need to cut some of this grass. My yellow bush beans are looking good still. I need to get trellises. I'll do that next weekend. These green dragon and uh, garden bush slicers are, they're doing something. Um, I need to get more soil to top some of this off. These are zinnias. Those are doing good so far. My sugar snap peas are just doing amazing. So, okay, this is my lettuce. Now it is looking not so good. Um, now the spinach is looking fine, but this other lettuce is not, and kale is not looking so hot. These onions are looking really good. They're coming back. So hopefully those keep on growing. Nothing is popping up in here still. More lettuce. We will see what happens. I moved some of my lettuce to over there. Garlic, onions doing great. Black duty, eggplant. We'll see. These are radishes, so I wonder if they are ready to pull up. Not yet, probably, probably a few more weeks or something. We will see. Blueberry bushes are doing good. We got some flowers growing right there. Apple trees still looking good need the leaves to come back but it looks like there may be some little apples we will see we got our friendly ladybug I love me a good ladybug they help your garden out a lot so these leaves down here are looking good I need to come and trim some of these off so that the energy can come up through here and then these apples are still looking good and they're coming in hot. And then I will take you guys around the side of the house and the front to show you the hydrangeas and the um, roses. And we have some strawberries coming in. Look at all these little straws. All my straws coming in. Okay, so here's the lettuce I moved to up here. I need to water it. I kind of wanted to get it out of the sun. I just don't want to move those big pots that I have a full of lettuce over there to over here, but I might have to because it needs to be out of the sun. Okay, let's check the sun tea. It hasn't been like about five minutes, but look at it brewing. I'm just get mixed up a little. Cool, so that'll sit. And I put some saran wrap so that buggies wouldn't get in there. Tonks, let's go inside. Tonks. Okay, so we have our roses coming in. Look at this bud. Oh my goodness. So that's going to be absolutely beautiful. And we have our rose of Sharon just to grow in. We still have not done anything with the sand. And then I don't know what's going on with this one. This rose bush and then around the front I have another hydrangea that I don't know maybe they died. I have no idea. So these are like broken like there's no green at all. So I may just try to get down in there and scrap, do the scratch test to see if there's green. I may not have, I may have, sh I should have planted these hydrangeas 
on the side of the house and done just roses up front probably but it said that they needed full sun so we will see i need to water them those are hydrangeas these roses that's a hydrangea and then rose oh my goodness look at this so we have four five on this one and they are just absolutely gorgeous no buds on oh yeah look we have some buds coming in on our purple hydrangea and then we have some little buds on this guy so those are gonna be really pretty I also have raspberry <coughs> vines back here I don't know if you can see it right in there and it looks like there's blooms on it I've got to get in here and clear some of this out so I can get to those raspberry blooms but like it goes all the way back there and I have some more over here too so we'll see what happens with those so here are some cinnamon rolls that I made for breakfast and then I am doing some laundry, going ahead and getting that out of the way for the day. And then after the laundry, I just started cleaning. I got all my cleaning products to go ahead and clean the downstairs. And you will see those in a minute. So I used the Norwex Power Plus HE laundry powder. And then I also did like one or two squirts of the Norwex um, lavender liquid and then that little ball that you see right there are my dryer balls so i like to use dryer balls because they're non-toxic and so i used up the last of my or orange essential oil on them so they help your clothes smell good because most of the norwex stuff is unscented but dryer balls help cut down on drying time they also help cut down on chemicals in your clothes and in your home and they were super cute. They had little um, animals on them. And so this is my Norwex um, dusting wand. And as you can see, I am struggling to get that on there. Um, I had to take it off last time and wash it. And I also have my Norwex dusting mitt, my window cloth, and some other Norwex cloths I use to clean my house with. So before I got started, I wanted to hang up one of those baskets that I got from the estate sale hall. Um, I thought it would look really pretty underneath that family sign I have in my kitchen. And so that's what I'm doing here before I get started on dusting and cleaning the house. So I went to go put away the mallet and then I just started dusting the um, windows and the lights that are like up higher and all of the higher corners that had some cobwebs or dust build up in those areas that wand is perfect and I also have a longer attachment to get the higher spaces in my home higher corners but I actually did not do that this day I ended up just doing what I could because I had a lot to get done before everybody came over
so here I am putting these bananas that are pretty ripe into a freezer bag and then I put the banana peel into a mason jar and I'll fill the mason jar up with water and I let the banana peel sit in the mason jar for a few days and then I will use it as fertilizer in my garden. Tomatoes and pepper plants really love it but I especially wanted to use it for my squash and some of my other plants that kind of look like they're struggling maybe they got early frost or some heat because the weather here in Georgia is crazy and so that is what I'm doing here. Now I am going to make a new iced coffee because the one I was drinking earlier I ended up spilling before I did the dishes so I'm just going to make a new one so it's the Khalifa Califia Farms cold brew and this was a really good cold brew. I think I have tried it before but it's been a really long time and then I used the Chobani coffee creamer. This is the one that is um, dairy free. And so I just add those two things with some ice and a straw and I'm good to go. And then I started doing the dishes.
So as I am editing this video, I noticed that some of my clips are out of order and honestly y'all, it is too difficult to work with iMovie to try to get them all moved around in the right order, but you guys get the point. I was cleaning and doing dishes and going back and forth all day to try and get ready for everyone to come over. So here are some of my indoor house plants. This is my Monstera plant and it has grown so much since I've gotten it. And 
that leaf that I just showed you is a fiddle leaf fig leaf that I am trying to transplant and since recording this video one of my fiddle leaf fig leaves actually has a sprout on it and so this is the plant that I got that from this is my fiddle and then I have another houseplant that I showed you a second ago the I can't remember what it's called but I also have one downstairs in my living room and two different ones one in my kitchen and one in my living room and so now I'm just moving on to cleaning upstairs and so this is our guest bedroom and so I'm gonna continue to clean up in there and organize some things in that room Okay, so now the scent tea is done, so I went outside to get it and to add sugar to it. And so I just pulled the saran wrap off the top and I got out the tea bag that was floating at the top because you don't need it since the tea is brewed. And I added the sugar to it, mixed it up, and put it in the refrigerator to get cold.
Okay, so now I'm getting all the ingredients out to make these homemade chocolate chip cookies out of the Magnolia Home Cookbook. This is volume one. I've made these a ton of times, and honestly, every time I want to try to make something new, I ask for people's opinion, and they all say no, that I need to just make the chocolate chip cookies because it's their favorite. So that is what I'm getting ready to make here. And Kaysen is making ribs while I'm making these chocolate chip cookies. So we're kind of working around each other and helping each other out. Um, he is getting them ready. They have to go on the grill for two hours and then they will come off the grill and he'll add more stuff to them and then they'll go back on for an hour and a half, I believe. And they are some of the best ribs I've ever had. He's so good at making these ribs. So we actually ended up going to another estate sale the next weekend, and so here's the haul from this one. We got this little teacup and tea plate, these two candle holders, a glass jar, and then you saw those little um, rooster figurines. Okay, so today I wanted to show you guys my click and grow. Um, it's the easiest way to plant and grow plants indoors. And it's a smart garden so I have already set this up I've had it set up for a few weeks now um, I got it at the waiting on Martha home event with Christy Woods and Harvey um, my mom bought it for me so it comes in like several pieces so this big piece is one piece and then each of these like little pods that have these little handles are another piece and then these come up these little circular things. Hold on.
There we go. Okay, there. These come up because you have to put a pod in here and then you put this over it and then you put this over it. And so like now, I right now I have strawberries growing in both of these. I had strawberries in here, but it was molding. Sometimes that happens with plants. This is the bar light. And so it actually has um, attachments that go right here to make it taller. And then it's on a timer for the light. So this light is on a timer. I want to say it's like 14 hours on and eight hours off or something like that. So it's on a timer over here. You pour in water the first time and this thing floats. And so water is fine right now. Like I don't need to fill it up. Once it gets down and it like starts sinking down into here, I will fill it back up. And that's literally all you do. You plug it in whenever you want your timer to start on your light. And then it just does it from there. And so the light will come on automatically, stay on for a certain period of time and then it will go off for a certain period of time. And so I have, I'm gonna replace that one today, and so I have either basil I can use, or I can use mint. And so I bought the strawberries separately, but mine came with these two. So let's see, I think I'm going to do mint because I have basil growing outside, so. I'm gonna open this up and I'm not gonna open it all the way. I only need one pod and it comes in a set of three. And so the seed is already in here. Actually one just fell out. And so I take this and I will put it in there. I'm gonna grab this extra seed that fell on the bottom and go ahead and plant that in there. And then I resealed that because I want to save these. So there's like a sticky seal on the inside that keeps these protected. And so I just resealed that. Okay. Okay, so now I have this pod in here. And I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to put this little dome over it because it this creates like a greenhouse for the plant to start growing. And so then you have your welcome to your Smart Garden 3. So there are actually multiple options of the Smart Garden. There's Smart Garden 3, Smart Garden 9, Smart Garden 27, and then there's some other ones as well. I wanted to get the 3 one to try it out and see how I liked it first. It also comes in multiple colors. It comes in white, gray, and beige. <clears throat> The Smart Garden features an LED grow light for faster germination and growth. A water tank includes is included in the garden and makes sure plants are always watered. And so you can grow mini tomatoes, parsley, wild strawberries, green lettuce, polka dot plants, purple chilies, all kinds of things. The mint, the basil, they even have pods now that you can put your own seeds in for plant starts. Um, and so that, that would be interesting to try. And so th that's all I do. I put that in there. I let it go because there's already water in here. So this will start absorbing the water. Um, I'm about to read to see what I need to do next on these. I already pulled the domes off of these, which is good because it looks like they're starting to mold a little bit in there. And that is not good. So I'm going to see what I need to do next. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the beginning of this book where it says let's get started and just kind of go through with you guys on everything that this can do. So for this one, you get three germination domes, three U-shaped lids, we looked at those, three smart soil pods, and three plant cups. The, so the plant cups are the things with the, the little white handle sticking out. So you can actually write on those and name your plants. Um, if you have multiple plants, that if all three are different, you can do that. You fill the tank with water, you plug the garden in. I already talked to you about that. Um, and then the cord actually fits down the back side of the garden. And so where the light is, the cord will fit into there so it's not just like hanging out. 
but I pulled mine out so that's why you can see a lot of my cord and then I also told you that it comes with extensions for the light and so here are the extensions and so you just put them in there and then I can take the light off the top of that and do the same thing um, and so it comes in three pieces so you want to move it up as the plant reaches the light and right now I'm just keeping these in the box it came in Um, the plant pods are biodegradable. Um, it's just like popping in a K-cup, you know, Keurig machine or something like that. You do the same thing here, but obviously you're growing plants. Um, there is a ton of different plant options on their website. Uh, cornflower, apple mint, pink petunia, mountain savory, herbs, dusty miller, wild strawberry, oregano, chili pepper, yellow tomato, dwarf pea, yellow sweet pepper, purple chili, petunia, romaine lettuce, painted nettle, and the ones I also mentioned earlier. Um, it also gives you a description of like what types of plants, how they like their heat. Um, so salad greens like it 64 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it tells you about herbs, fruiting plants, which right now that's what I have in there, except for my mint, which I just added. Um, and it says you can expect sprouts to appear in one to three weeks. Remember, remove the germination domes once the plants have sprouted. So we have done that. Um, and you make sure not to overfill your water. And then you want, so there are not natural pollinators in my house. I don't have to keep bees in my house. Um, so what it says to do once your plants have sprouted is take the, like, play with the top of the sprout. So like rub the tops of the leaves and then you go over to the next one and you do the same thing and then you just go back and forth. And so you're helping spread the pollen from each plant to help pollinate each other. It also says if more than one plant has germinated, you want to pull out one of them, whatever one that looks the least healthy or whatever. So I wanted to start with the Click and Grow Smart Garden 3, um, but my plan is to get more and to get the bigger ones. So I do have an affiliate code. You can get 10% off um, with Williamson 20 and I will post that affiliate code in my description and in the comments of this and it will also be on my YouTube in the description there. Thanks!